Our longest serving senator in Michigan history getting a singular honor today. Uh, by decades end, a U.S. Navy destroyer like this one will bear Carl Levin's name. Guy Gordon was on hand as this honor was bestowed and shows us why the name selection is unique. Guy? From the political sphere, only four non-presidents have had a ship named after them. That gives you an idea of what an exceedingly rare honor this is for Carl Levin. Our traditional ship naming convention, destroyers are named for heroes. Carl Levin is an American hero. He never served in the military himself, but political colleagues and military officials will tell you, as a member of the Armed Services Committee, Levin fought many pivotal battles on behalf of the military at America's fighting men and women. That they had the pay and benefits that they needed, that their families were taken care of. To me, that's a hero. Well deserving of such a thing. Oh, the things he's done for, for the Medal of Honor Society has been just wonderful. I'm so proud to have my name on a combat ship of the United States Navy. The 509-foot-long Arleigh Burke-class destroyer like this one will sail in 2020 and is designed for offensive and defensive warfare and capable of waging air, surface, and subsurface battles simultaneously. Levin says it helps fulfill the most important lesson he learned on the committee. About the importance of giving the men and women who we sent to war the tools to win the battles that we sent them to fight. And this ship, I'm proud to say, will be part of that if the time comes when it must be in combat. The Navy will be back here this fall when the USS Detroit pulls alongside the river walk here to be officially dedicated. That should be September 17th. From Detroit's Riverfront, I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4.